from an automaker Katie. to a coffee chain and major fashion brands. He is the one. 18-year-old Eileen Gu is the face of ad campaigns for about 30 Chinese and Western companies. The U.S.-born freestyle skier has become an overnight sensation, winning her first gold medal while representing China at the Beijing Winter Olympics. She's quite possibly the biggest thing in sports, the biggest thing in the two biggest economies in the world. Gu's ability to cast herself as both Chinese and American has been a boon for companies, but that could also become tricky. It's incredibly difficult uh, to, to, to walk the fine, fine line between, between the two sides. Yes, there's always going to be a risk uh, because of the, the political situation. We look at Gu's marketability to both the U.S. and China as companies try to balance the risks and rewards that come with her dual identity. Here's why Gu checks many boxes for consumers in both countries. She's smart and will be attending Stanford University. Gu's not just a supermodel, but also a dominating force in her sport. I definitely feel as though I am just as American as I am Chinese. She's also fluent in English and Mandarin, which she speaks with a Beijingers accent. <laughs> There's no one else like her who's as dominant in her sport, who's truly multinational, and who has one foot squarely in two countries um, in the middle of the biggest event in China's recent sports history. Born in San Francisco to an American father and a Chinese mother, Gu trained to ski in the U.S., but announced three years ago that she'd be competing for China. So when Gu won gold in the big air skiing event at the Winter Games, she dominated trending topics on Weibo, the country's version of Twitter. The hashtag Eileen Gu gold medal was viewed more than one billion times that day. But a big part of her popularity is not about what she's doing on the slopes. She is really... Um you know, strenuously apolitical. The, you know, there's nothing controversial about, about her brand. And this tactic has been key to her success. Gu's New York-based agent declined to comment for this video. She's also stayed away from politically charged topics like the U.S.'s diplomatic boycott of the Olympics over alleged human rights abuses in Xinjiang. Beijing has defended its treatment of Uyghur Muslims there as an effort to combat extremism. When she's asked questions about, you know, controversial or, or sensitive issues, she really doesn't answer them. She um, responds that she wants to unify. My mission is to use sport as a force for unity. She seems very aware that there's a risk to criticizing or be perceived as criticizing the Chinese government or its, its policies. This has helped keep Gu's marketing power strong. But it's a double-edged sword, because if there's a misstep, that could put Gu's sponsors at risk. What the brands are doing is sticking as closely as possible to her sporting abilities. Mark Dreyer has been covering sports in China for 15 years and wrote a book about the industry. He says one slip up by Gu could lead to enormous financial losses. Take, for example, a 2019 incident when the general manager of the Houston Rockets tweeted in support of pro-democracy protests against China's government on the streets of Hong Kong. This post was quickly deleted, but it created a ferocious backlash on Chinese social media and prompted a one-year ban of NBA games on Chinese television. The NBA said the losses from the tweet could amount to nearly $400 million. Dreyer says the best thing Gu could do is stick to her one message of unity to both sides. If anyone is seen to be saying one thing to, uh, to, to the West and, and another thing to China, uh, that generally uh, irritates both sides. Um, and, uh, and can get some people into trouble. But Gu has faced some criticism for her lack of a political stance on issues. I do think that uh, if, she can, if she can keep winning competitions and stays on the top of her game, uh, that's the perfect way to, to uh, sort of uh, shout down her critics. But as a rising Olympic star endorsing some of the world's biggest brands, pleasing her critics seems to be the last thing on her mind. I'm not trying to keep anyone happy. I'm an 18-year-old girl out here living my best life. Like, I'm having a great time. 